What's up everyone, this is Cybernaut, and today I thought it'd be fun to open up some Yu-Gi-Oh! Tournament Pack 19 for you guys. So yeah, this is the OTS packs basically, where uh, this new one, you can get the Adventure Girl, what was it, uh, Enchantress as an Ultimate Rare Skill Drain, and then also, uh, what was the other one? Uh, Albaz. Yeah, Albaz. Fallen to Albaz is actually the other Ultimate Rare. I thought these were kind of weird choices, but I really do like this set. There's two different token cards you can get, which I know aren't necessarily tokens a lot of people want, but I want us to eventually get all the tokens. I wish we'd get like a token pack, honestly, just so we could catch up with uh, Japan and get a bunch of our tokens that we're missing, especially some of those with the anime characters, too. But uh, yeah, I'm hoping that we're going to be able to get an Ultimate Rare. So like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Check out my link with, uh, of course, TCG Player. If you buy anything after clicking on my link, it does help support the channel. It doesn't even have to be uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. It can be any card game and all that. I'll have it, though, where it takes you to this set so you guys can see everything in the OTS pack. Because it's basically a bunch of reprints and like our only official way, really, to get Ultimate Rares anymore in the TCG. So let's get to it. Hopefully have some good luck. I would like any of those ultimate rares. I still would like to see like a change of heart ultimate rare though. I, I was really hoping maybe they would do that. Maybe next one. Anyway, we have uh, Gandiva, Rook Champion Gandiva. Of course, Emissary of Darkness. And then we have Perform Pile Odd Eyes Dissolver. I haven't seen this card in a while. Well, there you go. Something for Performa Pals. Pendulums have actually been getting a little bit of help lately, so. Will they ever get Electromite back? <laughs> we'll see. Hercules Beetle, I believe that's the normal monster you can get out of this, which is pretty cool. I always like those. Then a Fairy Tale Snow. And Forbidden Chalice, which is actually a really good reprint. This card's been getting a little bit of hype lately. It's another, I guess, hollow reprint for it. I think it's been in several things. But yeah, it's always a hyped up card because it is a really good one. So not bad either here. I'm kind of just stacking them together. Let's show our hollows like in a separate stack there. Okay. I don't know. There it goes. We try to be careful since there's only like three cards per pack. I'm afraid if I'm not too careful, I'm going to bend them. So take your time with these. <laughs> Heroic Challenger, Thousand Blades. Then a Distretto, Lost Dragon's Fruition. And Pain Painter. A card I haven't seen in quite a while. So I have my old ones, actually. But like out there, I haven't really seen this card. So it's kind of cool to see. Another Plague Spreader, basically. He wouldn't really want the best ones, but I liked his artwork and stuff. Then Heroic Champion Excalibur. Lava Battle Guard because of some Battle Guard support we actually got. And uh, DDD Oracle King D Arc. I don't know if that's ever been a hollow for us. I remember her being a rare. So that's really cool. I like DDD monsters anyway. So that looks nice. There might have been a Starfoil as well if you count that. I don't really count that as a hollow, but maybe you guys do. I feel like there's a little bit of difference. Like. Starfoil is like barely above like, hey, if I can't get this in like, you know, in any form of hollow, like if it's, you know, I find it better than a rare or common, but after that, we have Perform Pal Skull Crobat Joker, then another Fairy Tale Snow, and Trap Eater this time, which I remember this one from, I believe, Crimson Crisis. Always wonder if that could come in handy. And last pack. Can we end with that ultimate rare? I, it's happened before. We'll see. The are, are always the best with these, especially if you get them online. But I got them from a trusted place. Just depends on my luck. We have Night Assailant. Then a Simp Amplifier. Then, oh, one of the tokens. I'll take that. Slime token. Yeah, forget the other token. It looks like an elephant looking thing. I don't even know. I think it's another like slime looking token. But uh, yeah, I was one both of those. So that's a pretty good one in off on. The tokens are always usually, you know, like one of the better cards to get. But unfortunately, no ultimate rare. So yeah. <laughs> Out of six packs, it's pretty tough. Like I think even, what is it? Like you get a chance of maybe, I want to say people get like five ultimate rares out of a box of a hundred. Maybe it's even lower than those odds. I don't remember exactly. But uh, let me know what you guys think, though, about this OTS pack. I think it's an okay one. I mean, I always like ultimate rares. I want every card I can get as an ultimate rare, to be honest. But um, there's a few others that I'd be more excited about. Like I said, Change of Heart would have been cool. I'm still wanting, like, a Borload or Boral Sword, even ultimate rare, because I don't think he ever got one for us. And Access Code Talker. You know, I know there's a Japanese one, which I have, but there's not an English one. There's, there's still so many other ones I would love to see. But let me know if you agree, disagree, all that kind of stuff. Of course, as always, thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe. Let me know if I should get more of these in the future. Uh, I was tempted to get a box, but... 
it's it, it's a lot. <laughs> so we'll see. If you guys wanted enough, maybe we could do something on that. But let me know. And of course, I will catch you guys later. See ya.